nice. guys. Uh, yes, um, it <laughs> seems that the uh, haven't quite got everything working again. Yeah, so, so. Um, well, we've got... Uh, ben Cadel here. Cadel. <laughs> Cadel. <Come on. laughs> I say oh. Cadel. <laughs> um, so we, we've got Ben here, and um, you do a very interesting sport, actually. I do indeed, yes. Uh, Ultimate Frisbee. Yeah. Have you ever heard of it? I, I have heard of it, yes. You have. I, I don't know too much about it though. Do you want me to explain it? Yeah, I don't know if you okay, can cool. tell so, us a bit about it. So, Ultimate Frisbee is a non-contact, fast-paced uh, fast sport played by two teams, indoors or outdoors. Um, it's basically you've got two end zones, like in American football, and you have to move the disc from one side of the end zone to the other end zone to try and score. Very simple. You can't move with the disc, and it's about throwing, catching, jumping, running. Uh, diving and all that kind of stuff, yeah. <laughs> and that's non-contact? Non-contact, yeah. Okay. So when you've got the disc, you stood with the disc, you've got a guy marking you trying to stop certain throws from happening, but he's trying to force you into a certain area of the field or the pitch. Okay. Brilliant. And yeah. have you had uh, quite a few times where you've Dove. Oh yeah, and dove. <laughs> yes, uh, yeah. It's called laying out in frisbee, <laughs> and uh, well, I'm I'm notorious for my layouts. So I get layout <laughs> awards actually. Uh, my hoodie is caked in uh, mud at the moment because we just come from training. But um, yeah, so when you've got a disc that's just about to hit the floor and you just can jump to get it, you've got to <laughs> fall over and die for it. It's really good. And then you get up and the crowd's cheering. It's like yeah. <laughs> Yeah, everyone loves a bit of action, don't they? Oh, yeah. um, I've seen that we have quite a few of your awards here as yeah, well. Yeah, we've got uh, three of our trophies. Um, the bottom right one down there, uh, sorry, bottom left to the camera, <laughs> uh, is the most recent one from the Staffordshire Indoor Frisbee League, where we are technically the uh, top-ranked Staffordshire Frisbee oh, team. Wow. Yeah. Well, Staffordshire and Midlands, so yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> that's pretty awesome. So how long have you been doing Ultimate Frisbee for? Then? Uh, myself, I've been playing for about three and a half years. Yeah, since first year, so... Three and a half years. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Is, is that when the society started? Or? Uh, no, that's when I was a little fresher. And, uh, <laughs> the society was going on a few more years before then. But, Brilliant. Yeah. Okay. Brilliant. And, and I've actually heard something, I'm not sure if this is correct, but there's no referee at all that's true, in yeah. Ultimate Frisbee. It's called a spirited game. So if you make a foul or you're, you've just jumped out and you know you've jumped out, you're meant to call your own fouls. <laughs> um, so, I mean, in the sort of top pro leagues now, they're getting sort of observers, so they're the referees, but um, in sort of university league and club league, it's still spirited and you call your own stuff. So it's really quite fun in that uh, sort of I circumstance. I hope you get the, um, the crowd involved as well to, like, spectate and sometimes give the Oh, yeah, yeah. If, uh, yeah, if, 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 in, if a uh, opinion can't be made, the crowd will be asked, so it'll be like, uh, spectate, <laughs> um, what did you but think? But surely that's, that's just, like, who brought more fans that's to the true, game? But, uh, <laughs> usually it can be decided, and if it can't, then some sort of a compromise sort of occurs where the disc just goes back to where it was and the points replayed or the scenarios replayed or whatever. Hmm. Brilliant. So how, how long does a match usually last then? Uh, well, indoors it's actually tournament director's discretion, but it's about 17, 18 minutes for an indoor game. And outdoors it's 55 minutes. 55 minutes? Yeah. Wow. A lot longer then. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, outdoors <laughs> is 7 on 7, indoors is 5 on 5. I much prefer outdoors. It's a okay. big game and you can get more dirty. <laughs> <laughs> Which one do you prefer then? Uh, outdoors, yeah, outdoors, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you Much you enjoy, joy. And you've got the and you've got the wind to compete uh, compete with as well. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you ever done it in winter? Uh, yeah, it's cold as hell. It's awful. <laughs> That's which, why we wear these base layers because it's still cold. So. Which which one's done most on sort of a competitive level, indoor? Uh, outdoors, yeah, yeah. Outdoors yeah. And nice. all in America, like it's crazy outdoors in America. You won't. I don't think you'll ever really see like indoors in America. No one really cares for that. But it's nice and warm <laughs> out there but most of the time. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. So is the is the frisbee like a normal frisbee that people usually uh -huh. throw, or is it a specific frisbee? Good question. And a uh, specific sport. If I'd done my research, I'd be able to tell you now that it was invented <laughs> in blah blah. But uh, no, it's a 175 gram disc, about 10 inches in uh, diameter. Diameter, right? And uh, it's got like a certain molded design to make it fly properly, but. Um, yeah, I mean, most people just go to the park with like one of those discs with a hole in, and that's not what we play with. But it's a certain specification of the disc. But so, okay. yeah. Uh, just so you guys know what's going on, um, yeah. just for an update, it's 62 to staffs and 48 to Keel at the yeah. moment. At the basketball, so yep. uh, staffs <laughs> leading the way. Good to see. Good to see. Yep. Brilliant. So um, let's go back to the interview. Just thought I'd give an in. <laughs> cool. Oh, oh yeah, um, we've actually got, because uh, we aren't involved in this varsity, we've got another varsity coming up uh, against Wolverhampton University on the 17th of April. So we could really do with everyone's support as well. We might as well plug it whilst we're <laughs> But yeah, we're going to thrash Wolves, so that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> have, you, have you played those guys before? Yeah, we played them at uh, the tournament on Sunday where we came first and oh, we, okay. we nailed them. So How, how did they do? Uh, 
fifth. Okay, so so fifth. quietly confident then. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> or, or not not so. We've got quietly. such a strong team this year. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We just we don't care. We're going for it. Oh, okay. Well, um, I think now we're going to go to a VT of the highlights. Okay, um, the, the highlights of what? Oh, oh the sorry. Frisbee VT. We're going to go to the documentary of the Frisbee, Ultimate Frisbee. Then you can be a good thrower, or if you're not quite so good at throwing, you can be a good receiver. 
Um, it's very inclusive, there's a lot of clubs all over the place. Um, boys and girls can play together in the mixed division. Um, there's, a, there's a master's division, which basically means slightly older people. And then, um, yeah, it's pretty much for everyone, as long as you can sort of move back. Okay, guys, that, that was very good to see. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll go through another few um, tweets there. Um, yes, yeah, so let's have a look. We've got... Um, uh, Rochelle saying, fantastic halftime entertainment from the Scarlets and Kiel's cheerleaders. Yeah, we, we've got Maddie, who is reporting on the varsity, really, really enjoying that. Okay. Um, got the, up, the updated score coming through as well. Um, it's 76 for Stafford and 53 for Keel, so uh, still we're well in the lead. <laughs> still doing very well, and we're in the last quarter now as well. So yeah. hopefully we'll push that and keep our keep our lead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, got a couple of other people um, again. Um, so so we've got Mark here. Uh, unfortunately, the tennis didn't go our, our way today, but they were all close matches. So uh, it, it is good to hear that you know. Our guys were really giving uh, Keel a run for their money. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and Jess there saying she's watching the live feed of the men bas men's basketball and she's cheering for them. <laughs> <laughs> OK, um, so now we're going to go to a, um, a VT of the highlights of lacrosse. myself, Nana. You can join me a bit later for highlights of Varsity 2013. I'm currently here at the lacrosse training ground. Uh, they're prepping for the game at the moment. The squad include Chris Ash, Reese Sivert, Jake Marr and Adam Greaves. So we'll be seeing a lot of action from them a bit later. <laughs> Cross 
has just kicked off. As you can see, the crowds are channeling in all along the side of the pitch. The cold is definitely not stopping them. Stay tuned for more highlights. attack from Kiel which has led to their second goal. A dominating first half by Kiel. Staffs have had some good chances, particularly number nine in the first few minutes. All seems to have gone quiet for Staffs, not the crowds though, and hopefully a more dominant second half. Your half time score, 4-1. to Kiel. Kiel has taken the victory home, but fear not Staffs because there's lots more coming up today. You're tuned in to Staffs TV. Hi there guys. So yeah, um, that was again another very good coverage there of the lacrosse game I thought. Yep, looked, brilliant. They yeah, were looked, doing really well I think. <laughs> yes, um, no, I mean it was it was a, a, a shame about the outcome in the end, yeah. but um, <laughs> it was still a, still a very good game. So. Um, Yes, no, the, I'm going to go through the um, final scores for today that um, we've got so far. So, um, again, the swimming, it was um, 45 to 43 in the end, with Kiel just pulling away on the last race. Um, the men's lacrosse, Kiel won that 7 2. So, but the, the two goals scored by Scat Staffs. Um, were scored by Cap the captain Shane Hall and Chris Hopkins. Um, the freestyle relay, relay um, staffs came in a close second, but um, it was incredibly close that one. Uh, women's football, um, Kiel won that. Uh, they dominated the game a bit, unfortunately, and it was a 6 0 win for Kiel. Uh, the women's hockey, I believe Kiel won that 2 0. And um, the volleyball, however, we won that at uh, three sets to one. The last set was a really, really close one, though. <laughs> Just kept going past the uh, 25 maximum points with um, the set going all the way up to 30. Staffs just finally clinching it in the end and beating Kiel on that one. Uh, women's lacrosse, uh, Staffs won that one as well. We won that just by one point, 10 to nine. The um, netball, Kiel won that one, however, but um, even so, I, I thought uh, it was a very well-fought yeah. game. <laughs> and um, yeah, Kiel won that 50 to 27. Um, let's have a look. And I believe that's all the scores that I've got so far. Um, so yes, that, that's... The, um, the current score is 78-57 for the basketball, with staff still nicely in the head. And Brilliant. So, yeah, let's, let's um, just have a quick look at the tweets. So, um, got one here from Alex Seddon, who said he's uh, very disappointed today not to see a single quaffle. <laughs> Hashtag, we only came for the Quidditch. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I... I, I well, not, not sure what uh, I can do there, but um, I believe we're going to head over... Back to the basketball. Back to the basketball. Um.
into Staff's TV. Uh, we do apologise for that um, massive uh, blackout we had there, uh, massive technical difficulties. There is one minute left of the game. We are very excited to see the current score is 78-65. Again, we do apologise. I have been trying to keep it up to date on Twitter, so for those of you who follow me, I uh, hope you've enjoyed my tweets. <laughs> Uh, there is 58 seconds left. John, how's it been going? Been a bit quiet. <laughs> hey, it's been amazing. I've been quiet. I've just been in sheer concentration. Been a great game. Uh, at the moment, it's 78 to 65 to staffs. Uh, but I'll tell you what, the. Uh... What? I forgot the name of the team. <laughs> Staff is just Steelers. Keel. Keel, flipping heck. Sorry, I had a complete break. <laughs> Sorry. Keel. Keel, Keel. Just Keel, just call them Keel. Keel are uh, making a decent comeback, I must say, in the last like minute and a half. They've, they've racked up the points, haven't they? Yeah, but 48, 46 seconds, I'm no. not sure if that's enough. I'm not sure if it's enough. I don't think they're quite going to make it. Coming up to the last 30 seconds of the game, and Savages. Is it possible for them to win it now or not? No. Uh, 20 seconds left. I don't think they're going to do it. It's 78 67. Uh, I don't think so, really. No. Do you think it's a good win for Sass? Yeah, definitely. Uh, it's been a great game. I think everyone's enjoyed it, even though I think, I think um, Kiel are going to be a bit down because they didn't win. But I think overall, I think everyone's enjoyed themselves. Yeah, huge apologies for the people watching LRV and back at home. Out of our hands, just the equipment is overheated. So, 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 oh, sorry. We're, we're glad to be back, and uh, only 20 seconds left now. What's kicking off now? Crowds trying to put, put off staffs. Who's called out for the timeout there, John? Uh, I didn't see. Um, I don't really see the point, though. No. 21 seconds. It would be. I know 21 seconds ago. I'm like a jukebox today, <laughs> aren't I? It, definitely. It would be. It would be an absolutely amazing win if they can bring it back. Um, you know, they've been playing hard, so I don't know. I don't want to say. Tensions are rising here in the crowds. Everyone's just waiting for that whistle to blow. Yeah, no, it should be really good. Um, yeah, let's hope they win. I was going to break out into a song again then, but I, I stopped myself. I think it's getting a bit cheesy now. <laughs> go ahead, you go ahead, you break. No, it's all right. <laughs> the current score here is 78 67. Staff's lead. Again, massive apologies to those of you in LRV. Play, brilliant play, he went straight through the defenders, went up strong, scored the basket and got a chance for another because he got a foul. Current score, 80-67 to Staffs. I reckon it'll be 81 in a second. Just that extra one, just to top it off. Well, they might score more. But, uh, it's, but... tense they are, they? it's very tense here in the sports centre. Referee's, def referee's definitely milking it. It's like one shot. One shot only. What are they doing? I'm literally leaning on John to see over the crowd. <laughs> oh, just missed that shot there. Here he goes. And no foul. Good defence there from Keel. It's a break from Keel. 
Can I bring it? Fantastic play. Uh, ordered really well. Great result for Seth. So yeah, thanks John for joining us for the commentary. Thank you very much. We wouldn't have been able to do it without you. Thank you. Your final score, 80-67 staffs. Oh. So I believe the football is next. That should be a good game as well. I'm heading over there. I'm heading over there, yeah? Yeah, we'll be heading down there. It won't be a live feed, but watch the footage tomorrow. It's going absolutely crazy here now. Oh, everyone's going crazy. It's brilliant. <laughs> Amazing atmosphere here right now. A big, massive well done to both teams, particularly staffs. Yeah, uh, a huge thank you to the union for all their support and to all the members that have helped out today for us to do a live feed. For those of you watching us at LRV. Yeah, all really do appreciate the support for Staffs TV. We're new this year and we've made such a massive leap. So thanks very much for everything, guys. Well done. She's from the crowd now. Hey, what did you think of the game? It was very good, yeah. Yeah, very tense, wasn't it? Yeah, very close, yeah. You happy Staffs won? Oh, I'm absolutely over the moon. Brilliant. Hey, girls, what did you think of the game? Oh, my God, are we are on It was, you know what, girls are always so more shocked. No, no, it was beautiful, it was beautiful. E-Man did his thing. Staff. E-Man was amazing, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah, he slammed dunk to well. fair and square. Yeah. Don't you think the guys look really short on court? <laughs> yeah, they do. So do the cheerleaders. Yeah, they all look tiny. Yeah. The cheerleaders look like 12 year old girls in prime, isn't yeah. it? Someone tweeted me that, actually. Yeah. everyone who's been getting involved on Twitter as well. Shout out to Julian, my good friend. Shout out, do you want to do a shout out? Shout out to man like P, no my niggas. Oh, you can't say that! Apologies for the bad language there. Are you gonna say, are you gonna say something nice now? Okay, good, say something nice. Shout out to Kill. <laughs> okay, shout out to Kill. Kill did play very well. An amazing day here from the Sports Centre here in Stoke. An absolutely incredible basketball game. What did you think of that, Kieran? It was very good, very, very good. Uh, Nebel was very close. Not. Are you heading uh, off to the football now? Of course. Where else? Everyone's going to football. Yeah, I think everyone's heading off to the football. Everyone's literally going out that door there. Oh God, got Rochelle no, here. No, no, like, oh my God. <laughs> we got Rochelle here. Can you wait for me, babe. <laughs> Oh, what did you think of the game? Um, it was absolutely amazing. I've been at pretty much every single Steelers game. You've lost your voice. I know. I've, lost, I've been cheering like crazy since like 10:30 a.m. today. But um, absolutely fantastic. Are you I heading mean, off to the football now? I am. I am. They've made, they've done us proud, and they have not let us down every single game. They've been amazing. Fantastic. You head off, gone. Got loads of jobs to do. Thanks again to everyone who got involved in, on Twitter. <laughs> everyone who got involved on Twitter um, make sure you do tune into the football highlights a bit later and hashtag team staffs be careful ready it's literally it's been such a massive buzz in here I've absolutely loved every minute of it just come back now from the rugby over in um, Newcastle how was that I'm not going to comment about it but let's just say there were a few dirty antics by Keel which I'm not going to comment on but it, you know, it was Who won? Keel won 33-20. Uh, We've had an amazing game here at the basketball. I know. We just, won. Yeah. Just managed to catch the last couple of minutes of it. It was really good, really liked it. And, you know, it was a great effort. I think it was staffs that won, didn't they? There we go. That's one. Quite a lot. Proud to be staffs. Definite moments. Proud to be staff. <laughs> Definitely. John, our producer. Oh, yeah. Hi, how's the time the day? It's been knackering. We've been here since about 8 o'clock setting up. Uh, didn't get a lot of sleep, <laughs> so no, but it's been a really good day. It's been great fun. Uh, the whole team's been absolutely brilliant. Like, 
Guys, I've really just like just started doing Saturday. It's been absolutely fantastic. So. What would you say has been your favourite event of today? It has to be the last one because you know, although the volleyball was really, really good as well. I like, missed the volleyball. I really wanted to see that. Yeah, it was. It was really, really good. Really exciting. This, uh, the atmosphere in this stadium is amazing, and I really hope it has been uh, continued for all the other events that's been around. We obviously still have the football to go, which should be a good event as well. Yeah, the rugby's just finished, and uh, the crew's now moving over to football. Uh, that's going to be our last big event. Uh, I'm not sure if we'll be streaming it live, uh, but... I think it's just going to be highlights, yeah. yeah. So the highlights will be up probably tomorrow. Evening. I'll try and get an interview with someone. This is what I do. Yeah, you're very good at it. You're very good. <laughs> no. So, um, what else? How, how you found the day? Like, it, it was really hectic to begin with, wasn't it? Yeah, well, the thing is, is like, well, hopefully people appreciate, I know we had a, a few hiccups, is that, you know, we lost the stream. You know, but we are literally you know, like using really high-tech equipment that we've only just got, and we're learning so quickly. We are students too, guys. Yeah, we are students. You know, the union's been great. They, they gave us the money for it, and we you know, got us the equipment. And so the university. The university's been brilliant with all the marketing uh, help that they've given us. So, yeah, it's been really good, but it's definitely been a hard day with everything we've had to do. Yeah. We just want to say a massive thanks to everyone who's been getting involved as well, whether that's been support here, support here, or on Twitter as well. So thank you very much. Yeah. Thanks, Sean. <laughs>Okay, well. Well done to Stafford, yeah. Staffs for that amazing victory, 80-67 in the end. Yeah, I mean, well, <laughs> I, I, I thought it was getting a bit close at the end now. I was yeah. biting my nails a little bit. Keel was pulling a bit closer. <laughs> I know, Getting the worry. lead and I was crossing my fingers, hoping for Staffs, so and we did it. Uh, well yeah, we, we did it in the end. It was, it was nice, definitely nice to end on that, I think. Lovely to see the crowd going wild as well. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, um... But uh, it, it is definitely worth saying that um, the football will be on later. It will be um, on demand yeah, we, we went, uh, the rest of this as well. Yeah, we, um, it'll be later yeah, on yeah, demand. On, demand on, our, on our website, Staffs TV. Um, and also, just so uh, we congratulate Kiel for winning Varsity. Uh, and commiserations to Staffs. Um, mm. And now we're going to go to a VT of the highlights of the, of the swimming today. Simpson here reporting for Staffs TV at Varsity 2013. We're at the swimming right now and as you see behind me there's some events going on. We've already had a few races today and a few staff wins. the swimming today that was a really close one the swimming yeah it was <laughs> it's, uh, it was it was just just um keel managed to pull away on the very last race on that one um so the final score being 45 43 to keel for the swimming um i've uh, just go through a recap on the uh final scores for um so far 
Um, again, that's swimming, 45-43. Uh, the lacrosse, Kiel won that one, 7-2. However, the two uh, goals for staffs were scored by Captain Shane Hall and Chris Hopkins. So uh, the, the women's football, Kiel unfortunately dominating in that one, winning 6-0. The third goal, in fact, being actually an own goal from staffs. The women's hockey didn't fare much better with, ski, with uh, Kiel dominating in that one. Um, the volleyball, however, was a bit of a turnaround with Stafford um, scoring a very staff scoring a very nice victory over um, Kiel on that one, winning 3-1. The last set uh, being a bit of a tense one, but uh, it was it was very enjoyable. Um, the uh, men's hockey. Uh, unfortunately, Kiel that one. Staffs were 2 0 up in the beginning, but uh, after equalising, Kiel then managed to win on penalties right at the end, which was a bit of a shame, really, but um, it's just how these things go. The women's lacrosse, however, Staffs won that one, won it 10 9. Close game, but very, uh, close. very, very well done but for them. Um, the women's basketball. Kiel dominating a bit in that game, uh, winning 34-18 in the end. Um, the netball, uh, again, Kiel won that one, winning 50-27. So, and um, however, the men's basketball, which we've just seen staffs dominating right pretty much through to the end, uh, winning 80 for 67. And I'd just like to um, say apologies, very, very deep apologies for that technical difficulties that we had at the very end of the crucial moment of basketball. Uh, very sorry indeed. <laughs> but uh, yeah, managed to pull it back just for the end there. So yes. that was very nice to get the last few minutes. Okay, uh, we shall look at the media one last time. So, uh, let's see, let's see what people have been let's saying. No, nice to see a, a lot of um, people Showing their support for staffs. Um, Charlie Hill, in fact, accidentally losing his voice after shouting so much <laughs> at the rugby. Um, Jess saying, well, hey, go Steelers. Um, let's have a look. Yeah, so uh, Ravi there, um, really enjoying the men's basketball and staffs winning there. So. Yeah, and we've got... Um Got C Mills here saying staffs t uh, team staffs is doing it for the basketball right now. <laughs> She's obviously a very big basketball fan, um, and we've got um, yeah, we've got Abby Cheshire saying that our Scarlet's blew Keel out of the water. <laughs> for the uh, half time, but I think Keel did pretty well actually. I was pretty impressed with Keel yeah, too. Yeah, I thought, thought Keel's show <laughs> during the half time was very good. Right, but, um, brilliant. Yes, so, um, yes, and, uh, and that brings us to the end of Varsity 2013. And uh, I think in all it was a really great day with some excellent performances from both teams. Um, there are just two fixtures remaining now, both the men's rugby and the men's football, both being held in Newcastle under Lyme. You can get updated on these scores on the Varsity homepage, staffsunion.com forward slash varsity. So, thanks for watching and uh, until next year. And we'll